Hang on, people. <laughs> oh, man, I got to laugh. <laughs> After you see some of you people are going to watch this video and go, man, this is dangerous. How can you laugh? I mean, when you see so many of these, to me, human behavior, watching how different people respond with different levels of um, reactionary skills, staying in a fight, fleeing, coming back, getting the car. There's so many things that happen in this very short clip. So this is a, a, a gun fight between heartless felons and always loyal or loyal always. These are two gangs that's been feuding for a while, I guess. And they decided to have a shootout here. So let me give you the players here, and then we'll watch different things on how this happens. Uh, where did it happen here? Where was the first shot fired? Probably, you no. Know, people are still standing around here. Okay. So right about here, this is a very busy intersection. And you see people in this car, people in this car, and people in this car. And you see this guy walking on the street. And I'll go ahead and I'll play the, uh, the pre-footage kind of fast here till we get to the thing. So let's take a look at the pre-footage. Let me bump it up to a uh, playback speed. We'll make it about 1.5 so you see. Pretty busy intersection. Lots of cars, two-way stop. This guy's walking around. These people are walking and out. I don't know if this is a bar. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, just a lot of activity. Guy walking up here, two people walking over here. Again, cars, busy. This guy's walking inside or coming over to this car. We got this guy on the phone walking over here. This car pulls up. I don't know why they're stopping. Are they going to pull in here? I think they end up pulling in here. We have three people here. A guy standing here. Um, remember, there's people in this car, people in this car. It's going a little bit fast. So this guy walks up and he's going to start talking. This car ends up pulling in parking. And I think we're about to get to the shooting. So let me make sure we get to the shooting and then I'll, I'll slow it back down. Again, these people pulling in here. These people are here. This guy's walking away. Probably just bought some dope or traded liquor or whatever they were doing. This guy's probably trying to sell dope or whatever. This may be, I'm thinking the people that are shooting back because you're going to see people with guns. This is probably their hood or their territory or their turf. And... The car that's pulling in here came in there to send them a message. So let's uh, see here what we got next. Got another guy walking around. Um, got another guy walking on the street. Very busy intersection, let's just say. And in law enforcement, we call that a clue, all this activity. Here's the shooting right here. I think this is the car right here that pops around. So... Let me slow this back down so we can get back into regular regular speed here. Uh, normal. Okay. So this car is going to shoot here, and you're going to see different people take cover. So let's go ahead and watch this car take a shot first time. Boom, right here. Several rounds. He ducks. He ducks. He's getting the hell out of Dodge. And these people over here duck. I'll go back 10 seconds. Or actually, I'll just go back a couple of uh, frames so you can see the people reacting. So we have one guy here reacting, two guys, three guys, four guys, and this person ducks. Okay? And you see things going here. Look at this guy immediately going for his gun, man. They got to hire this guy as a freaking cop. He's Mr. Like, hey, you shoot at me, I'm going for my gun. He immediately gets back in a fight. This guy's out of dodge. I don't know if he's going for a gun. He's just trying to create distance. These people duck down in their car. The one dude that kills him, man, this dude runs this way, dives, and crawls right here, man. I was like, damn, that dude's digging for some freaking, he's looking for China, Chinese food, way deep right there. He's getting way down on the ground. He's getting a curb. Now, tactically speaking, he would have been better to stay on this curb. He would have protection from the car, and any ricochets would probably hit the curb. By getting on the ground here, anybody that hits bullets here and here, I already done a video to where bullets follow the path. When I, I shoot concrete here and you're on the ground, it's going to follow six to eight inches along the pavement. So you don't want to be level where the ricochets are coming, laying down. So he doesn't know that or he wouldn't have got there. He'd have been better up on the curb. So let me go back and, and, and um, 
we'll show the shooting as it happens just in regular real time and let everybody see it because I know I got all the whiners. Oh, you know, we didn't say it. You were talking too much and we couldn't do two things at once because, all right, bang, bang, bang. Everybody runs, scatters, everybody sees, diving. Johnny turns fire, runs off, takes off. This this car up here hides. This guy over here returns fire, he comes back. He's shooting. This guy gets out of the car because I think his driver's hit. He goes in. This guy bails out. He's got his gun. He's still shooting. This guy finally gets out of the car. Like, what the hell is going on? This dude's peeking out. And uh, he looks around. Bad move. Now he's going to start taking rounds. This guy runs to his car. He starts getting shot out. Now these guys run into each other. He bails. This guy's like, shit, I think he's got a gun. Cars are still driving by. This dude opts off, I think, because his driver got shot. This guy's like, hell no, you ain't running out of my hood. You came up here shooting. So he goes back. This guy's getting his car stolen while he runs away. Almost gets in a crash. <clears throat> okay, everybody saw it. Now let's go back and we'll do the, the slow part so so we can kind of like pause it and check out everybody doing all these different crazy things. Because this, I mean, to me, again, people's reaction is critical in something like this and whether or not you survive. There was just a uh, active shooting at a mall and uh, one of the guys was talking about how he had a concealed permit on the radio. Stinchfield, I think his name was. I can't remember his first name. He's a conservative dude. And his son was in the mall, I think, and he went toward a gunfire and he told his son to create distance. His son bailed. Um, but anyway, reaction, knowing, being prepared. Anybody in this area without a gun is a victim. All they can do is run and hide. The guys with guns are able to defend themselves. Now, the people shooting and the people shooting back probably are all convicted felons. This is in Cleveland, high gun control area, left wing, high tolerance and acceptance, all left wing policies telling you how safe you'll be if you give your guns. No honest citizen has a gun in this area, but all the crooks and cops have guns. And crooks and cops tend to be the same thing lately. But I digress. Here we go. Bang. Shots rang out. Uh, obviously, this guy recognizes this guy because he's probably selling drugs on his corner. This is his turf. And this guy's going to shoot at him. And cuts pretty close, but misses. This guy's creating distance, getting the hell out of Dodge. This guy's creating distance. These people only duck down on their car. I would have probably been trying to get farther distance and put car between us. They just get in. If you get inside a car, bullets will still go through the windshield and take you out. If you're up in front of the hood, you've got more protection. I mean, the difference between concealment and cover. These guys kind of got concealment because they ducked in the car. You want something that you can get behind. So remember, there's still a guy inside this car here. This guy right here, man, does a great, he goes back to the threat. He comes around here, gets his gun, comes around, and goes immediately to the threat. This guy's on my team. You go, boy, I like this guy. He's like, oh, hell no, you shoot at me, it's freaking go time. And that's exactly what he does, and I freaking love it. Watch him again. Comes around, draws his gun behind cover, and comes out shooting, and goes directly to the threat. I used to train shooting running forward because a lot of people don't train that way. Cops are always trained running away, creating distance. And sometimes it makes more sense to go in and get your bullets on target and rush a target. So I would train running forward and a lot of the non-tactical guys, the guys that didn't look, oh, I would never do that. Why would I run to the bullets? That's not officer safety. You're teaching. Look, all right, I'm teaching because I'm freaking the instructor. If you don't want to do it, then don't freaking do it. I hate freaking crybabies. Uh, so anyway, this guy, I think, is doing a great job. Rick, he's a criminal and he's got a gun. I don't care. He's still a good tactical-minded survivor. Goes to more cover, puts a couple rounds on target, and moves to more cover. Moving and shooting. Man, I like this guy. This guy's peeking his head out. Let's see who, who comes in next. A lot of rounds flying in this area. I'm not sure who they're shooting at. You notice that there's still a guy inside this truck here that was stopped probably buying dope or whatever. Nobody's got out of this car. Still shooting, lots of rounds. Lots of cars who were just parked here or getting free ventilation, extra air conditioning. The guy who was returning fire is still hanging around. He's either shooting out of ammo, reloading or something, but he's still hanging around. Okay, right here, I'm pretty sure, see these cars? These cars are pulling up, they don't have a clue. Anybody that's being aware of pulling up would see people running, 
see people scattering. If I drive by and a guy's laying in a gutter and another guy's running, we call that a clue. Okay? Be aware of where you're driving, what's going on. These guys don't have a clue. So they're just driving along normally. Maybe they saw and they decided to turn left to get out of the kill zone. I'd have put it in reverse and went the wrong way. Or I'd have made a freaking illegal U-turn and drove the one way down a runway street and ran freaking tables and chairs over from idiots that were still sitting at them when there was gunfire. But that's me. All right, here we go. So now this guy's running off. Remember, he jumps out of the passenger and he's limping because he probably got shot in the leg or something. But I think his driver got hit. So he's like, shit. We can't drive. I got to be feet. I got to get the hell out of the area. I'm in a war zone. I'm in, I'm across enemy lines. I got to create distance. So he bails. But the other dude is not going to let him go, man. He's like, oh, hell no. You come on my turf. He's right here. I think he's clearing his gun. Maybe re-racking, maybe clearing. He's going to go take a couple more rounds. This guy finally gets out of his truck. Now, remember this. This guy gets out of his own truck. He's the driver because you're going to see his car drive away. Remember when it left? He never gets back in the car. Who took his truck? So I'm thinking he might have left a passenger in there. So what he should have done is put his damn car in reverse or forward and got the hell out of there. Instead, he gets out to look. Now, that tells me he either knows these gangs. He wasn't just buying dope. He was, you know, having a conversation with his fellow gang members. And now he's just checking out the problem. I don't know if he has a gun or not. But he should have been created distance if he doesn't have a gun. If he does have a gun, he should have been pumping rounds in here. So nobody else can fire rounds at him, which he doesn't do, which is why he takes more rounds here in a minute. Okay, so this guy's still on the ground. This guy's still, man, he chased that dude down. He chased a car down. He's coming back for more. This guy is on my team. You go, boy. He comes back. Now, he starts taking fire. He comes back to here. This guy ducks down. This is why this car starts taking more rounds. There has to be somebody still in this car. I don't know what they're doing. Some people will say it's better to stay in a car. Some people should have said he should have scurried over here and crawled out of there. I'd have probably bailed out of the car or got behind a car and drove off earlier. But he runs over here and they take rounds here. Takes a round off the ground. I think this is a round right here. You notice they can't get through here. So this has got to be some sort of ricochet or something because there is a round that hits right there. I'm going to go frame by frame here. Watch. Bang. I'm thinking that's a round. Maybe it's not. All right, here we go. So now he just decides to bail in his car because you see the flashes. They're still taking hits. Okay, he does. if he has a gun, he's not drawing it. This guy's standing here with a gun. I call this guy a bullet magnet. He's the only guy returning fire, and he's got a gun. So you always take out the biggest threat. If there was somebody with a rifle... That would be a bigger threat than this guy with a pistol. But this guy is standing here, so he's going to draw bullets. You don't want to hang around people who are bullet magnets. I tell you, create distance from cops. Cops, when they get in shootings, they're bullet magnets. People are going to be shooting at them, and if they miss and you're by them, you're going to get hit. So don't be by this guy. Even though he's on my team, if you're a civilian trying to create distance and survive, get the hell away from bullet magnets. So now another guy gets out of this car. I don't know where he goes or what he does. So he's going to start trying to make tracks. It looks like he got shot too. He probably got shot with that guy that kept running by putting rounds in his car. This dude, like I said, the guy that's on my team was like seriously peppering his car, trying to stop their ability to return fire. Now he's pumping off. This guy comes back out of the back, and he's going to chase him down again. This guy must have got up sometime. I didn't see him get up. Where is he? Oh, he decides to get up here, I guess. So he hears a lull, and he's like, you know what? I need to make some. So this guy's running over here. I guess this guy takes off running here. This guy's hop along Cassidy, one-legged speedy guy running this way, chasing his other guy with one leg. Maybe between the two of them, they get two legs and run faster. This guy's like, hell no, you ain't getting away. I'm going after you. So now he's going after him. If he can't shoot him, he'll hold him. Still gunfire coming from the car. Did you see that flash? Watch the car. Gunfire coming from the car. Flash, flash. Oh, maybe that wasn't the car. That was the brake light. Somebody got in this car, and when they put the car in park, that was the flash. I thought this was gunfire. Let's go back and watch that again. So somebody climbs in a car, and when they hit the brake and put it in park, because they're going to get the hell out of there, the guy who owns the car, I think, comes back. Goes, dude, that's my car. 
puts a car in park or drive. The guy's like, dude, man, that's my car. Don't take my car. Hell no. I'm getting the hell out of Dodge. Almost rams this dude. Remember, there's no stop sign here. Cars just flying by. Luckily, this car was probably turning. But he's going to make tracks almost getting a hit. I don't know if they do hit. This guy reached for his back pocket there. You see that? I don't know if he pulled out a gun or if he's checking his wallet. Watch him reach for his back pocket. I don't know what he's reaching for. We still have this guy over here. These three people are still sitting in their car. This car's getting the hell out of Dodge. This guy it looks like he got a gun and just racked around to me. Did y'all see that? I'll go back a few frames. Right here, it looks like he's racking his gun. So maybe his gun jammed. He's getting it back in a battery, trying to get it in a battery. Can't get it working, so he ends up leaving. There he goes. This guy's coming back. I don't know if this is one of the original shooters where he's chasing somebody or running from somebody. And I think that's pretty much it. So, a lot of things happening very quickly. You got to be Johnny on the spot. You got to be like a midget at a urinal, always on your toes. If you're in a high doctor area with a lot of crime, a lot of prescription drug studying, etc., you got to be on your toes. So, um, like I said, the one guy. That's on my team. He He's my dude, man. But, you know, we'll end up there. Hopefully you got something out of it. That's the shooting in Cleveland between heartless felons and always loyal. Wow, heartless felons. Always loyal. Man, those are some great names. All right, we'll end up there.